All right, so as we told you earlier, you will get dents and scratches and other things on your fuselages when you're building them. That's just part of the process. And I didn't want to jinx us, but we also did the same thing. Um, we buck thousands of these rivets, and every now and then, and this is our first one on this fuselage, we get a booger like that. You can see that um, the, the bucking bar slipped off of the rivet. And because these aren't the countersunk rivets, we do run the risk of give, getting a smiley in the aluminum. So you can also see there's a little bit of a divot there. Um, this is where a lot of builders might panic. Don't panic. We're going to show you how to fix that right now. I'll have the steel dolly. You take the steel punch and the hammer. What we're going to do is make sure that this steel dolly is flat against that. We want to take care of just this area here. We don't want to be off a little bit. And David's on the back. He's going to be punching the back side of that flat. So, go ahead. Let's check. Okay, so you can see that we took out most of that crater right there. It's mostly gone. Um, I think, David, if you don't mind, let's give it one more whack. Uh, if you can, focus a little bit more pressure towards the back side of the hole. Okay, so we took out most of that crater. Now when we rivet, it's going to put a little bit of a pucker there anyway, so we don't need to worry about getting it perfect, perfect. Um, but what we wanted to do is work that out enough to where now we could take our 220 grit sandpaper and work out the smiley, because that's where the crack's going to form. If we don't get that out, that smiley, that's going to turn into a crack. So we're going to sand this out with 220 grit. We're going to sand that back out with 400 grit. And then once that's done, we're going to polish it out. And we're going to use this pistol grip polisher here and some coarse compound. Just work it back and forth. Then we'll clean up our mess, put the rivet in, and we can resume what we were doing. Okay, so this is the rivet that we had messed up. You can see we sanded it out with 220 grit right in the vicinity of the damage. And then we... Um, went ahead and polished it out with the heavy compound on the pistol grip buffer. Now you can see that there's still a little bit of a crater there. There's no way we're going to be able to hammer and dolly that out with the bulkhead in the way. So what we're going to try doing is smashing the rivet down, bucking the rivet about halfway, and then we're going to go ahead and punch the rivet outward with the hammer again, carefully of course, so we don't slip. And then once it's punched out, you're going to see that it's going to have a little bit of a gap around the head of the rivet. We don't want that. So then once we're satisfied that the metals come out with the rivet, then we will finish bucking the rivet to its full, um, full compression. So let's go ahead and put a rivet in. I'll try and give it just a little bit of a buck. And actually, if you look at it now, if we just went ahead and bucked that and left it, it would be fine. But it never hurts to try something new. Okay. Nope. Another one. A little harder. One more. Uh, give it one more. All right, let's go ahead and finish bucking that. Yep, it did exactly what we thought it would. It lifted up a little bit of a, a little bit of a gap there. Rivet's also loose now. We don't want that. Tell me when. Go. That looks really good. So by the time the airplane is all riveted, polished or painted, but polished especially, that will be gone. So, um, mission accomplished. Somewhere in this line of rivets is the rivet that we just repaired. As you can see, it's very difficult to tell which one it is. The moral of the story here is to not panic when you ding, dent, or scratch your airplane. We have ways to fix all these different things, and you can give us a call if you have any concerns. One big thing you need to be aware of is if you do make an attempt to repair a ding or a scratch, you can't remove too much metal. So if you have any questions about what you can do, 
be sure to call us. Don't put yourself in an unsafe situation. Um, as for this particular rivet, this particular situation, I would call that a pretty successful repair.